Kai Sinet. I don't know much about this guy, okay? I do not have Twitch. I know nothing about streaming. I know of him. So I've seen some video clips that he's made on YouTube. So I'm thinking these video clips are from his streaming videos on Twitch. A couple of his videos that I want, that I have seen in the past, I actually enjoy. And this guy is only 21 years old. So it surprised me how much of a big impact he has in the social media platform. For him to create such a big gathering in New York City, for it to result in riots, there were thousands out there, thousands of people, lots of kids, lots of, lots of youngins. I never really looked into the whole situation that happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and go onto his YouTube channel, Kai Sinat Live. He's got 3.74 million subscribers on YouTube. And I believe he's like one of the top if not the top streamer on Twitch. We're gonna go ahead and watch his videos from his perspective, but I wanna know directly from him and I wanna have my own opinion. So let's go ahead and watch one of his videos first. Kai Sinat shuts down New York City. Are y'all ready? Let's go. Y'all about to see LYP, bro. Welcome to New York, bro. I'm telling you, it's a lot of y'all out there right now. Everybody who's out there, make sure y'all safe. Appreciate everybody who popped off for y'all, bro. We gonna make sure it's safe, bro. We are not gonna do nothing until it's safe. Yeah, that's right. We gotta make sure it's safe. Sure Everybody's good. We like it. We but find us already. Hold on. Play the social. Play the social. Good. So you can see. Yeah. Look. 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 Oh, they they see already, bro. You feel me? I have to lie. It feels so good to be here, like that's got to be a good feeling though look at them they stand like a unity bro we gotta we gotta get right here i bet so we out i bet so we out Listen, I can understand the excitement. He's only 21 and his boys, you know, they've been probably been boys since they were kids, okay? So for one of them to make it, and he's, I think, a millionaire at this point. The excitement, the anxiety, the good nerves that you feel at this moment, knowing that all these people came for you, you knew you were gonna have a good turnout. This big of a turnout, it's a good feeling. Oh my God, it's, oh. Yo, make sure y'all protect Chris. He got the mother camera. He got the mafia. Yeah. Yo, move back, bro. Yeah. yeah. Got got no 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 All the A and P out here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get out first. Let me get out first. Where the park? Where the park? Where the park at? Right here. That shit looks so fucking funny to me. The fact that these two big ass guys, security guards, have to sandwich his ass to protect him, they, they just left the bus. It's only been seconds. It went from a peaceful sound, you can hear the birds chirping and everything, to chaos. Ooh, this is dangerous. That's scary. see news helicopters are overhead that's union square park the park has been swarmed wow. and basically overrun by people look at the crowds of people there um in fact subway lines bus lanes they're bypassing union square it's a big subway station uh in manhattan apparently what had happened here is a popular twitch streamer was holding a video game giveaway. If you don't know what Twitch is, you're not alone. I barely know what it is. It's apparently Me a neither. where you can watch other people we, play We video old games. up in here. We old up in here. For all my new subscribers or anyone who's watching this video, I am 38 years old. I know, I know, I look young, I know. <laughs> so I'm behind a lot of stuff. 
Incredibly boring, but obviously it's a thing. So this Kai Sinat was going to do a giveaway. He announced it on his Instagram feed. Um, and look at this. It's basically what the, the hell? Top of the car? Yeah, on top Hold of on. Is that his car? Is that his vehicle? They got these people up on that vehicle, y'all. Look at this. This is ridiculous. And these kids don't know any better. When you just go off of impulsive decisions, you're rowdy, you got nothing to lose. You know, you haven't gained anything. You don't have a career, you don't have a house, you don't have children, you don't have a family, a wife, a husband, cars. You're living in the moment and you decide to jump onto this man's truck. This is so dangerous. These, they look like Our ants. Wow, Union Square. Well, Sandra, as you can see, I am standing next to the Union Square subway station entrance where it looks like it was closed off because of construction. But look up on top of that. That's what's happening on top of the subway station entrance. There's, I can't even count. This baby kids. Top of there. They're climbing it right now, as you can Get see. Get your asses off of that. What is wrong with y'all? Got a whole rope the statue and everything. Square. I've actually got a couple of his followers here here with me who can kind of explain to us what they were expecting, what happened. Look at all these uh, children. Where's your mama and your daddy? Why you they pulled up, you know, do a little meet and greet and a giveaway for the fans. Giveaway of what was the understanding? So, from my understanding, PS5s, video game accessories, uh, PC. Uh, again, this was all sparked by a Twitch streamer, a Damn, social media yeah. influencer. He has 20 million followers. He asked them all to come meet him here at Union Square for what was a PlayStation 5 giveaway. They fucked up their city. I hate when people do this to their own city. Uh, at Union Square, okay. <laughs> I don't know if he got a permit to do all this it doesn't seem like it he does not look prepared and for all these cops to come and take over and to try to keep the peace and uh, I just let's just keep watching. The cops uh, are obviously outnumbered out here. So Fun, I don't want to interrupt back. you for one quick. Oh second. shit! Guess, you're looking at live pictures of a car that was literally covered oh, with no. people, and we do believe that that was the vehicle that had Kai Sanat in it, which you can see now was looked as though could have been leaving the area. Um, and that is why you're seeing that. Oh my there. God, y'all! Look at that. That's so scary. That's the <gasps> right there, that they believe. And Kai Sanat is in right now. As Safan was saying, he was there. He was in the crowd for a little bit of time. And he's still Clearly, driving? This is an out of control crowd. And he's and dri hold on, I don't know who's driving. His driver is driving. That's who's driving. But he's literally he's literally driving with these kids on top of the car. That's so dangerous. Yes. It only takes one person to fall and get cut under a, a fucking tire, y'all. Freebies given away, no yeah. giveaway whatsoever, getting in the car, but clearly you're looking at a very dangerous situation with this car now driving pretty fast. Oh my God, look how fast they're going. Clinging on to the side and top of it. I, <gasps> That's so dangerous. It's mind, it's mind boggling why they're not stopping to let these people off the car. I am so confused. Kai literally uploaded this whole damn news coverage onto his fucking channel. Does he not give a fuck? Does fame and the power and the money control your life? Is that more important to you than the lives of these followers and the unsafe environment you created for them? For him to post this, it's kind of like he's bragging. So yeah, uh, that was literally the video is the news coverage. He's literally bragging about the chaos he created. I'm not gonna say that he incited it. I didn't watch his his Twitch stream when he first announced the meetup, but this does not look good. This does not look good, but let's go ahead and react to the next video. After being charged with, I think, inciting a riot or something like that, this is his first video back speaking on it. So let's go ahead and watch that and see what he's got to say about it. Here we go. What the f bro, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and say, I already know there's a lot of chat. The, the news is watching. There's a lot of media in here right now. There's a lot of boomers in here right now. There's a lot of there's everybody in here right now, okay? Listen to me, okay? First of all, I want By the way, I'm not a boomer. I am a millennial. Born 85. It is what it is. I'm still taking this whole thing in right now, chat. Bro, this is f***ing insane, bro. Listen, so, look, 
For those who think this is about to be a quick stream, bro, I mean, I mean, for those who think this is about to be a long stream, it's not about to be a long stream, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro, I'm here to talk a little bit, say what I gotta say, and then I'm, 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 I'm out of here, okay? Listen to me, bro. First thing, oh my god. I can already tell in the way that he's speaking in this whole intro, he's got a smirk on his face. I understand having all these types of emotions, adrenaline. He's got that excitement, the, the young um, excitement in life and like the accomplishments he's created. And to see the outcome and the results of the hard work he put into it, I don't think he realizes how dangerous the situation was and how it's not cool, y'all. That shit is not fucking cool. Something like that caused the city lots of money and resources, okay? And people were injured, y'all. And I believe there was like 60 people that got arrested or something. I, I don't know the numbers, bro, this, but. This is, this is a lot, bro. It's a lot of shit going on. It's a lot She's of crazy. Hold on, let me turn my view counter off right now because I am not. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? Let me turn that off real quick. Listen, chat, we're not even gonna bother, we're not even about to drag this whole sh we're not even about to do too much talking. I'm gonna say what I gotta say, and I'm gonna be as serious as possible, and I'm gonna be as mature as possible when it comes to this, okay? Everybody, please listen to me when I'm talking. Like, just please listen to me. Anybody who's finding me for the first time, whatever it is, listen to me when I what I have to say and stuff like that. Okay, first thing. I, I will be listening to you, Kai, but at the same time, I'm also keeping in mind how young you are. Because as mature as you want to be, you're not. Okay, especially when it comes to men, you guys. There is a difference between females and males, and females obviously mature a lot more quicker than men do. And that's a known fact. I believe uh, the male species end up maturing, I think, in their 40s, which I believe is why they date younger girls. But hey, you know, I'm just saying. But let's get back on topic. First, y'all already know, y'all already seen everything, okay? It's, uh, it's on international news. This sh took a goddamn. Bro, this shit is crazy, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say what I gotta say real quick. All right? Chat, being from New York, it has all, bro, it has literally always been, ever since I started everything like this, bro, it has been my dream to wanna give back to the community that made me who I am, bro. That's always, that, that's always been my whole, like, you know, I, I feel like everybody can, you know, it, whoever is in a big position could agree that wherever you come from, you want to give back to your community and you want to do nice things. You feel For what sure. I'm saying? But I after agree. Friday, bro, I've come to realize the amount of not only power, but influence that I have on people. You feel what I'm saying? I've come to realize that, sh bro, and I'm saying that to say this. I am beyond, bro, disappointed. Beyond, bro, beyond disappointed in anybody who became destructive that day, bro. 100%, bro. That's not cool, my Okay. None of that is cool, bro. You feel okay. what I'm saying? I, after the things that I've seen, I'm beyond disappointed in the things that went on on Friday. And I want people to know that none of that was my intention. At the same time, I did see a few clips on his Twitch live. Mind you, I did not see the whole live, but I saw little clips here and there. He knew what could happen. He speaks on it. He knows there's going to be a lot of people. And this is the busiest area of New York City. You know it's gonna be crazy and chaotic. They come for, for some gift cards and some PS5s, especially when your following is, is such a young crowd. You know what that means. So although your intentions wasn't that, you knew that it could be that. That's where the problem is. But again, he's only 21 years old and you can try to be as responsible as you wanna be. But y'all, at 21, me? Fuck no! I was so irresponsible, it's just crazy. Okay, I did. I made a lot of bad decisions. Thank God I was not doing social media. I, I'm giving this guy a little bit of leeway when it comes to the bad decisions he made that day. But I think because he's being charged, I think he's a little bit nervous. I believe he's gonna be facing like up to a year if he's found guilty. I'm not quite sure with the legality part of it. But that was my intentions, bro. Not only that, but I don't condone any of the things that went on that day. None of that is cool. I'm seeing random videos of people getting sturdy on people's cars. And I've always, and I'm asking myself while I'm watching the video. 
Terrible. Why? Like, terrible. Why? And these kids just don't give a fuck. Those cars that they stomped on and broke into, it could have been someone's whole life savings just to get that vehicle. But because they don't have an understanding of the value of a dollar, they don't give a fuck. And you have this millionaire here who can afford many, many cars. So instead of these gift cards and instead of these PS5s, how about you help pay for all these damages? How about that? Because all these people, all these owners of the vehicles, the businesses, they didn't ask for the shit. They didn't even know who the hell you are. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to be fined. That's a for sure thing. But God damn, y'all. It not only needs to be safe, but it needs to be fun. Like... Anything we do like this has to be safe and fun. We can't be just running around and destroying this and destroying that. And I want people to understand, like, you feel me? I done seen a lot of things with the news, with the media, with everybody that's just discovering me. I want y'all to know, like, none of that is how I wanted any of this to go, bro. I had straight good intentions, and I didn't think that it was going to be what it was. That. It's crazy, you feel what I'm saying? And I also like- But how about your team though? You have all this money and I know you have somewhat of a management team or, or something. You have people around you who are older than you, who are in the business. Why did they not steer you away from that? Why did they follow along with all this? Are they all yes men? Are they just saying yes to you because you pay them? If that's the case, you gotta change your circle quick. Because at 21, they're already getting you into some legal trouble? Nah. I spoke to myself, bro. I also asked myself. I said, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Kai, you feel what I'm saying? Next time you want to do any of, the, any of these things like this, you need to hit up the right people, make the right calls, okay? I need to be able to hit up the right people, make the right calls, and do it the correct way. Because as a whole, bro, we all have to do it. We all have to do better. As a whole, bro, I'm a, I'm a keep, I'm a keep it, a, I'm a keep it a stack, bro. We all, from from the citizens, from the citizens of New York, to the police, everything got to be treated with equal respect, bro. You feel what I'm saying, bro? And it's like, bro, that whole thing was just. Whew, I seen after, I, I seen everything, how it was after and stuff like that, and I'm like, damn, this is crazy. We all have to do better. And I'm finding ways, if I ever want to do something like this in the future, I got to make the right calls, got to do the right things. And also, mm -hmm. bro, you feel me? Once again, I can't stress this enough, bro. It was not my intention, bro. I don't condone any things that went on that Friday in a destructive manner. That shit is not cool. You're not cool for doing things just to do it because you want to do it, bro. No, you feel me? I want to go ahead and say, bro, I love New York and... We got, I'm gonna make sure that we gotta make sure like this is it, that's where I'm from. You feel what I'm saying? I love New York and I want to make sure that y'all have safe and y'all have fun and I, and I'm able to do things like this. But we gotta chill. You feel me? Um, real quick, um, to the news. Uh, here we to go. To the media. Here we go. After watching and to the reporters that I done seen that clown me. Paint me in this picture that I'm not. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever y'all said has been done. Okay, I, I understand it. But please, I beg y'all, bro. You feel me? Just leave my family out of it. Family? What happened? There's no reason. There's no reason why y'all are showing up to my mom's house. Oh, shit. With tinted windows, with a big-ass camera. In the back of y'all of y'all stuff, going into my mom's house and recording them, I can handle it. You feel what I'm saying? I can do whatever y'all want to say about me, whatever y'all want to do. I can take it to the chin. I can handle it. You feel what I'm saying? It's over. The second that you became a social media influencer and especially a popular and successful one, it's done. This is part of your life now. You are no longer invisible. You signed up for this shit. Literally drive a couple. You feel me? Just to get to her house. So. I feel like that was kind of weird and stuff, so just please, I ask y'all gently and nicely, please do not involve my family members and what's going on and stuff like that. Um, as a uh, as an update onto what's going on, y'all know, y'all have seen it. I'm being hit with multiple charges. Oof. Y'all know that already, though. Multiple. Um, for me streaming, um, I might have to chill for a little bit due to the fact that one, I got court dates that I got to appear to. My first court date, this uh August sixteenth. Um, that's my first court day. I got things that I actually have to 
you know, I had things that I actually had to handle. You feel me? I got charges and stuff like that. So Damn. I have to go to court and I have to um, handle a lot of things. And and yeah, that's about it. I probably won't. I probably won't be. Y'all not gonna be seeing me for a little bit. It's kind of shitty that the fans, and I'm speaking to you guys, all you rioters that were out there trying to get yourself a PS5, y'all fucked it up for yourselves and for your influencer. Y'all act like you ain't got no manners. You guys act like you haven't been raised right. Because of your decisions, your influencer is in trouble. A little bit. It's not gonna be no long, uh, bro. It's not gonna be nothing long. Okay? It ain't, it ain't gonna be nothing long. I'm not gonna be... I'm trying to get through this and stuff like that and um, handle everything the correct way. And, you know, I, I gotta do what I gotta do, chat. That's about it. You feel what I'm saying? And anybody worried about me, don't be worried for me. You feel what I'm saying? I can do things... Anything is possible through Christ. So I'm just been praying. I've been, you know, I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ and God. So I know He got my back through this whole thing. And I want, I'm praying for the for anybody who's been affected by what went on. That's not cool. You feel what I'm saying? And those who did the things that they did and messed up a lot of stuff, bro. Y'all need seriously. Y'all need serious count, uh, counseling, bro. I don't know what is wrong with some of the people that did what they did. And I want y'all to know. I'm gonna end it off by saying this, bro. Y'all need help. Y'all need help. Bro, it was never my intentions for things to, to, to happen the way it happened. And I already seen the people lying already. I heard reporters say he didn't even have nothing to give away. And he, he just pulled up just to make a no, bro. Like, come on. Y'all got to do y'all research a little bit better. You feel what I'm saying? But other than that, though, chat, I love y'all so much. You guys be amazing. You guys be safe. I will see you very soon, okay? I'll be back on doing whatever I gotta do very soon. And yeah, bro. Okay, well, that was that. That's Kai. I will say he is a talented guy. He really is. He does belong in the social media platform. He's he's skilled. He's, he's a people person. He's funny. He's really, really funny. And the way he does his videos, like from what I've seen, he deserves that spot. You get what I'm saying? He just needs a better team around him. And do I feel like he needs to be serving any type of days in jail? No, I don't think so. I think it was a bad move on his part, but he's also young. So I think he should be hit with a lot of fines. 100%. And then to the people who got their cars all fucked up, by all means, I wish you well and success and your success to continue, Kai. But what happened here ain't it all right y'all that's all i had to say about this whole thing make sure you like comment share subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time i motherfucking upload see y'all peace